All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got it. It's that time again. It's time for Australia's 17th craziest game show. Crazy crosswords are now introducing the host of the show, the bitter and twisted Steel Jensen. Hi, and welcome to the show. Sorry about that. That was for Brad and Pete, guys. Uh, Friday as it is, a little treat for our young surfer lads. If we find the real thing hard enough to attain at the best of times. Ladies, this is, uh, everyone know this is Friday night? Friday night. Velvet, come on in, say good day. Look at this. I think he was trying to replace me. Yeah, well, it, it got a hole in it and went down on me. What can I say? Oh, um, bad taste. Well, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, it is Friday night and we're going to harness racing, which is something I used to do in King's Cross before it was illegal. Um, it could happen at any time. We just go dump and, we're, and we're, we've got horses and, and guys whipping them and leather. And, oh, I kind of love that bit. I can't wait for it, actually. In fact, why don't we just say nothing and wait for the harness racing? It's such a turn on, isn't it? <laughs> I'm leaving that to you. You're the one who brought the rubber dolly in with you. <laughs> Just gone to black. No, we're back. Oh, that's okay. That was an impersonation of Sammy Davis Jr. in a blackout. Okay. How are you, darling? I'm wonderful. I'm confused, but I'm wonderful. Me too. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back. This is our carryover champs over here in the gold corner. Brad and Pete. Brad who and Pete. think we know them so well, they didn't even wear their name tags. They don't have to, Rob. They've been here so long, they don't even need them anymore. Brad's a bit annoyed because I tore the B off his and it just says rad. I, feel, I don't know, I just think it kind of says... Gnarly it. dude, that's sort of Gnarly, thing. isn't he? I don't know what that means. It sounds like something really twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly, something a tree would be. How are you, rad? Enjoying it. Enjoying it, yeah? <laughs> Massacre on the show tonight, incredible. Pete? G'day. How are you? Good. You're not going to give me any ammunition, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> knows you too well by this day. But we've got new contestants. We have indeed. Kylie, welcome to the show. Looking a little shell shocked. I'm just worried about what you're going to say, so just keep oh, it quiet. Mate, I've got about a dozen <laughs> up my sleeve, but uh, <laughs> we'll wait till the horses come. Um, <laughs> Kylie and, and Kim. Kim. Oh, come on. <laughs> How are you, Kim? I'm fine, thank you. Feeling good? Feeling, Feeling really good. Feeling arrogant. to whip some butts. Whip some butt. Oh, why do whips keep coming up all the time? I don't know, it's one of my fetishes and I try to attract the kind of contestant that will... Uh, <laughs> and anyway, over to Kim and Kylie. <laughs> Kim and Kylie. I always have to talk in a German accent when I think of these things, I don't know. Okay, Kim and Kylie, what do they do? I think they're in business together because um, Kylie's a flea trainer and Kim is a flea circus owner. Did you bring them in with you? No, we just kept them at home. We're, oh, right. There's going to be a secret, secret big thing coming up soon with them. We're just keeping it under wraps at the moment. Well, perhaps Bruce 31, could, I could use my crabs and your fleas and we could <laughs> kind of get cross-cultural little critters happening, couldn't we? I think we should swap that around. <laughs> who's, who's crabs? <laughs> okay. You asked me Let's what Zygmunt Freud would have said about this. Now take it over there, girl, and, and do the thing you do so well. <laughs> I think, um... I think you should get it together. I don't think I should. I don't care. It doesn't matter. What are they paying me? Double it, triple it. It still works out the same, doesn't well, I, it? I keep worrying about my students who are watching this show. Yeah, but, hey, students, no, look, respect your teacher because she and I have only been having a meaningless affair for about a week. <laughs> and, boy, if I tell you some of the photos of the things, she can forget about harness racing. This girl knows. Let's have a look at the winning prizes, I think, right now. Winning prizes. That's Thanks very much, Steel. Tonight's contestants receive these fabulous prizes. You're going to hang out with Squirt the Whale for a while at Sebo. And then you're off on a magnificent return cruise. That's right, they will take you back up the Brisbane River on the historic Miramar from Miramar Cruises. And then you arrive at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary where you can see elk and yaks and yetis at Lone... Hey. And then you're off to Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary and you've been there before. And then now you're off on a Harley Davidson with Gary from Hardly Detours. And then it's time to take in dinner and a show at Crazy's Comedy Restaurant. Brisbane's most fantabulous, hilarious restaurant, Crazy's Comedy Restaurant. And then of course it's time to go splishing and splashing down the water slide. And Whitewater Mountain lays by the pool. Check out the chicks at Wet n Wild Water Park. And then it's off to Movie World. Hollywood on the Gold Coast from Water Brothers Movie World. And of course these prizes courtesy of Crazy Crossword.
<laughs> oh, you chickened out. Our contestants had the, the little inflatable hostess next to them and I had some great gags about sayo biscuits and all sorts of stuff from surf, my old surf days, but hey, it doesn't matter, I'm not that hungry anyway. I think we should play a game. I think we should. Think. And not a mind game. Let's get into the crosswords. Let's go one across. The buzzers are working over there in the gold corner. Yep, and a blue corner. Terrific. Oh, technical wonders here at Bris 31. Okay. Technical wonders, except I don't have the crossword. Have Here it question. is. One across, six letter word, an endangered herbivorous sea mammal. Blue. <laughs> well, <laughs> how do you spell that? I don't know. Is that six letters or five? Gold team. Whale. Whale? Yep. That's, no. That's not right, but uh, thanks, girl. D. We've got a D happening. Okay. Found in the waters okay. off the Dugong. north of Australia. Dugong. Yeah. Dugong. Where the old myth about the mermaids comes from, dugongs. We're going to put another bet on. When they gestate, they look sort of through. Yes. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. But that's actually where it comes from. Doesn't matter. Five across or one down? One down. One down? Ball. Oh, a ball. Oh, a ball. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought my luck had changed. <laughs> One down, contestants are running the show, I don't care. This is what Steele does all the time, this one. Oh yeah, to ba bounce a basketball repeatedly. Or to foam in the mouth. Dribble. Dribble is right. <laughs> Trust those surfies, mate. <laughs> yep. Lovely. Okay, I think two down, you get the first letter, that always makes it easy, doesn't it? Two down, a grotesque gutter spout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I don't even know what that means. Um, okay, let's put it this way. It, one of those weird kind of creatures you see on old churches and cathedrals, uh, the hunchback. A gargoyle. Gargoyle. Oh, well done. Right. Oh, we're cooking. Three down. I've got the N. Three down. Unflavoured yoghurt is known as? Natural. Natural. Oh. And an excellent treatment for candida. I want to win back my 10 cents. Ten cent bet that the girls win. Go now, hang on, okay, we've got a ruling on this in terms of sexism. We had a woman say girls. Does that mean a man can say girls or do I have to say women? No, nah, you have to say women or ladies. <laughs> Thank you. But ladies yeah. is sort of worse than girls. No, no, no. Isn't that a place? See, we can be girls together, just yeah. like you can be one of the boys together. But you can't call us a girl. That's not correct. No, because no, I'd have to use the plural. And let's go back over here. <laughs> let's get back to the game. Okay, women. Um, four down, four down. Uh, to, to sneak up on in a slow kind of way. Creep. Creep. Woo. Absolutely correct. There's a ball for you, and we're going to have a look at the prizes our contestants will not take. Tonight's, con tonight's contestants will not receive these fabulous prizes. You're off on a romantic cruise for two on a luxury ocean liner. You'll fall in love as Captain Joe takes you on the trip of a lifetime. Meet that someone special who will wine you and dine you. But don't worry, Big Willie will be your chaperone and he'll show you what you missed. And then you'll sail into port where you'll pick up your stylish and durable carpet. This prize proudly brought to you by OJ Simpson Travel and Crazy Crossword. And nine out of ten lawyers in America reckon he's going to get off. Hey, isn't it amazing that money can buy you a piece of the American dream? That's wonderful. Five across. <laughs> yes. Irritate. <laughs> Irritate. Was that the word or were you just saying what I'm doing? The boys are scared. You should have seen these boys in the ad break desperately trying to work out what they all were before the questions <laughs> came up. And they were going to say irrigate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there we are. Nothing colonic about that one. Irritate it is. Seven across. Gee, I don't know what that means. I'd better look up the clue here. Seven across. Eric Clapton's a song written for George Harrison's wife. Layla. Layla. Woo! I didn't know that. I'm into real blues. Six across. Six across. Oh, there we are. A primate. Eight. Eight it is. Ooh. Pretty cooking here. How are we going on the scores? Uh, boys? Two. Two. Two balls, boys. <laughs> and uh, la them. women, ladies? Six. Six. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, for the girls. Woo! <laughs> Don't know why. I was just wishing that they were New Zealanders and it would have come Six. out. Six. Six. Sucks. It's Whatever. all the same. Whatever you want. It's all, it's all the same to you, is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> Masters and Johnson would agree. Um, eight. A little esoterica. Eight. Eight across, okay. We'll do that one. Eight across, one who loves. Blue team. Lover. <laughs> oh. Lover, lover do. What do you reckon? 
Nine down. Nine down, starting with O, three letter word, meaning, meaning what? <laughs> oh, a sphere or globe. Orb. 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 Mm. Just like to clarify something, Velvet, now I, I bet that the women would win today, didn't I? Wasn't it? Was there witnesses? I think well, I, no, I, I think it was double or nothing. You were going for the boys, I was going for the girls. I mean, I was going for the, you were going for the men, I was going for the girls. And that's the kind of show we are. <laughs> this, and just at that moment, quite amazing. This actually means 30 seconds in uh, stage manager, floor manager kind of speak. But when I was talking about that kind of show, and he did this, I don't know why I was thinking of harness racing. <laughs> 11 across. 11 across, as cross as you can get. 11 across. Uh, first name of Roy. Gold 10. Orb. Orb. <laughs> No, we this always in spin-out mode. Blue team, blue team. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Rob. Rob. Yes. Okay, give it to them. And right now we're going to something Rob. that's written here on my orb. Ad break. Is it an ad break? Yes, let's do that. Why not? Orb. Orb. Ball. <laughs> Hello. We're back. Uh, we're going to have a look at the scores while we're at it. Um, guys? Two. Two, Jess. I'm glad I'm not betting on you. And uh, women? Nine. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. It's looking good. Oh, I'm down 20 cents. Um, yeah, why don't we Mobile do that? phone competition. Get mobile and get over here. Mobile phones, 357-1911. Give us a ring, leave your name and number. And if you sound cute, I'll get back to you. <laughs> That's uh, actually the comm store provides that, which if you're forgetting about winning, like the greedy people who don't want to work for a living, those who want to go and buy a mobile phone, batteries or any accessories, the Com Store is the place to go. Com Store? Yes. And our losers <laughs> tonight aren't losers really because they get some amazing prizes. Have a look at this. Thanks very much, Steel. Tonight's losing contestants receive these fabulous prizes. You'll take home these fantastic premium quality Australian nuts morsels from Mary Ram. With unmatched natural goodness, quality and freshness, they come to you from Mary Ram Nut Distributors. Enjoy the latest movie releases at Birch Carol and Coyle Cinemas. They're everywhere. You won't have any trouble finding them. And you get sweets, treats, eats, and movies at Birch Carol and Coyle Cinema. I just missed it. Okay, welcome back. Round two. This is where it gets really hot. This is where the competition starts firing up. Gold team, feeling good? How's your buzzer? Good technique, mate. And women? And women and girls are sort of friendly. Okay, we live in the 90s. Let's get into it. One across the ninth month of the year. Blue team. September. Oh, didn't even have to think Ooh. about it. I was doing January, February, March. That's incredible. There you go. Lovely. Well, we've got the first letter of one down, so let's go for that. Type of pasta. Couldn't be easier. Blue team. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. There's another thing that could be gnarly, I suppose, really, isn't it? Gnarled spaghetti. Six across. Idle chit chat. Gossip. 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 <laughs> For which surfies are renowned. I don't know, you guys surfers at all? I'm laying this surfy stuff on you. No, you look no. like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice way of saying, get out of my face. Tennis? No <laughs> Tennis? <laughs> <Boris>? Hardly. Boris? <laughs> uh, yeah, from my chair. Seven down. Seven down. Starts with S. The former capital of Australia. Blue team. Sydney. It was indeed. Ooh. Although it was called Botany Bay, I think, back then. It was... I don't know. My history's not too good in this country. Two down. That looks nice. Two down. Those things on the end of your feet. Blue ten. Toes. Oh. <laughs> good one. That's almost too easy. I should give some really crummy clues just to I think so. They're fucking too easy. Them. No, no. The, uh, the floor manager's doing that bondage thing again, so we're running out of time. <laughs> Three down. Uh, something into which you throw your rubbish. Bin. Bin is right. Four down. <coughs> Something that my Ribbit's Pizza is doing on me right now. Blue team. Repeating. Repeating. <laughs> does that mean one minute to it or does that mean go to it? He's doing that and this. That means one minute. This means this. He's holding a sign which says, Fox Pops. So we know what that means, don't we? Fox Pop. Fox Pop. Fox Pops. How's it going, man? Am I allowed back? I'm a TV star. I'm allowed back here, aren't I? <laughs> then that little cheap camera over there, that's ours. Hi. 
Hi. He's got something to hide. Definitely got something to hide here. Hey, what is it? What's going down? Illegal CDs coming in from Hong Kong at a dollar ninety-eight each. Come on, go on it. Have you ever seen crazy crosswords? No. I'm get a microphone shoved in my face. Here. How come you're not sort of holding hands? You've been going out for a while, have you? Yeah. yeah. You get to that stage, you just don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, so what do you do? You watch crazy crosswords? <laughs> this is a den of iniquity, and I think it should be stamped out. <laughs> do you watch crazy crosswords on Bristol 31? Now, no, but before you answer this, don't have to be honest. If you answer yes, you're in the running for an incredible prize. If you say no, then you're dog meat. Yeah. Oh, it's your boyfriend. Now, it's good to see the youth coming out in the open. That's all right, mate. Don't be afraid of it. I mean, it's nothing illegal about it except in Tasmania. It's real. It's not. Real. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it, oh, it is too. That's good, eh? Yeah, we do. Yes. Yes? Yep. You watch Bristol every night? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Every night. What time's it on? Uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, they know. <laughs> Talk about in your face, hey? Vox Pops, I love it. Just embarrass the four-letter word ending in IT that you find in the bottom of a bird's cage out of people. That is grit. True grit. That's what this show needs. Got away with that one. Okay, Me? nine across. Nine across. Um, a, a type of farmyard animal often known for uh, eating tin cans and such like. Gold team. Goat. Goat. Ooh. Okay, acting the... What do you reckon, um, Velvet? Eight down. Eight down? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Whoa. Pigs. Pigs. <laughs> Glad I didn't have to give the clue there. <laughs> no, I don't do police jokes because Queensland police are definitely the best police that money can buy. <laughs> <laughs> Ten across. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> rational <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Come on, what is it? Tennis. Tennis. Any two for eleveness. Oh dear, we've got We've only a couple two more to go. Eleven across. Type of poisonous plant. Blue team. Ivy. Ivy. Oh. Ivy. You guys are cleaning up. I've got to give you gold balls <laughs> now. and count those though. We've got a bondage situation happening. That means thirty seconds, which is just about. Let, enough now to let's finish see. This. Twelve Can across. The boys finish. Can I think the boys, boys might. Be? I think uh, Pete and Rad might know this one. Twelve across. This is the way I like to dress up on Friday nights. Oh, blue team. Drag. Drag. <laughs> And why did you think the boys might know that? Because they usually outfit me. <laughs> um, That's it? No, it's oh, not. No? Five across. Five across. A, 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 a shot of alcohol. Gold team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Had to get that one. There you go. And that brings us to the end Can of this game. And that means the blue team is the winner. Woo! Aww. Aww. Oh, guys. Oh. Better go to an ad break and sort out the winners from the losers, I think. We're back. <laughs> Little Miss Butter wouldn't melt in her mouth if you could hear the stuff that comes out of her mouth during these Don't ad breaks. Don't believe it. Mum, Dad, I didn't say it. She's blushing. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Don't pick on me. Let's pick on the contestants. Let's That's pick what on the contestants. Let's pick on the losers. Brad and Pete. Oh, guys. Oh. Three, oh, nights, very... three nights you've been here, you haven't taken anything away. Oh, that's a bit unfair. We should give them something. Yeah, okay, if, we give, if you could have Can one we of give the them prizes, something? Which, which would you want? I want to Dolphin. see dolphins. SeaWorld. SeaWorld? SeaWorld. Sea Let's let them go to SeaWorld. Yeah. Okay, SeaWorld for, sea for Brad it is. Yeah. Surfers, the water, marine animals, and you can have that inflatable doll. It's a good little life preserver in case oh. you get into trouble out there in the, in the gnarly surf. While we're at it, we might as well give them some nuts, seeing they couldn't get any balls. Why not? <laughs> So that wasn't meant in that way. What way? <laughs> no way. No testicular fortitude. That's your problem. You're not willing to sort of stand <laughs> no, up for your goodness. Come get out of here, you guys. We don't want you anymore. Let's have a look at the winning prizes. That's a good idea. Yo, thanks very much. And tonight's winning contestants receive these fabulous prizes. You're going to spend a fantastic day out at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast from SeaWorld. And then you're off on a magnificent return cruise up and down and up and down the Brisbane River from Miramar Cruises. As you arrive at your lunchtime destination, Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Thank you very much, Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. And then you're off to Crazy's for dinner and a show from Crazy's Comedy Restaurant. And then it's, oh, yeah, it's that time again. It's off to go on the Harley Davidson with Gary from Hardly Detours before you go slipping and sliding down at Wet n Wild Water Park. And then it's on to Movie World Hollywood on the Gold Coast where you can enjoy all the, uh, the same sort of stuff from Movie World. And these prizes courtesy of Crazy Crossway. Yeah, I think I would have gone for the Movie World myself, but hey, you know, what can you say? Bunch of surfers. Good on them. Down to surfers paradise. Game three. Game three. 
No competition. How are you feeling, Kylie and Kim? Feeling good. Looking we're confident. Champions. Basket full of balls and, and a mouthful of words, which is a lot better than a basket full of words. And let's yes. move right along. <laughs> Spoonerisms, aren't they just so tacky? One across. Not a six-letter word to jump on something. Pounce. Pounce. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy. And did you pounce on that one? You haven't been looking at my notes, have you? That's hey. incredible. I would have thought something. I don't know. I don't know what I would have thought. How would you know without a letter? One down. You've got the letter. One down. Arrogant. Mm. Oh, Pompous. Oh, Pompous. Oh, yes. These girls are good. Oh, you've got to use your buzzer. Oh, I'm doing right. this one again. This, this is the floor manager signals, this uh, one. Okay. And okay. I thought, like, if Eugene did that, you know he's saying, hey man, have you got a light? Okay, question. But question. Okay, <laughs> you're <laughs> good. Let, I'm trying to make you not win, so you'll be back tomorrow. Okay, two down. Two down. Two down um, to uh, uh, past tense of undo. 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 <laughs> hey, I can't get fairer than that, now can I? That was an easy one. Uh, three down, three down. Um, um, a picture that's made of lots of little pictures stuck on top of each other. Collage. Collage. Woo. Woo. No one can't say I've been fair here. Ten across, French word for friend. Uh, me. Ah, uh, you. <laughs> We're cooking. We're cooking. Five across, starting with O, slang word for a sort of rough Aussie. Occa. Occa, right. Ocarina. They've what spelt it wrong, but I'm going to have to spell it the way they spelt it. Oh, you think it's with an A? No, there should be a C there, not a double K. That's oh, well, why you a, have an English It's an illiterate teacher. Australian, okay? The real Occa. Okay. Um, six down, starting with R, uh, to fix. Repair. Absolutely. Yes. Come on. Eight across, a type of music that uh, has a rhyme and, and no singing and very little musical talent, just a kind of repetitive Rap. rhythm. Rap yes. with the silence, C. Eight down, not poor. Rich. Rich it is. Oh, we're about to finish. Seven across, in the centre. Middle. Nine across, not young. Old. Old. Oh, Eleven across, that. really cool. Shut. No. <laughs> it's it's super. Su suave. Oh, yeah. so close. Did, oh, did they get it in? No. Judges ruling. Did they get it? They got the words. Have we got a judge? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's God again. <laughs> the voice from above. I guess it means you have to kind of uh, just wait with bated breath until Monday night. Can you do that? You want to come back next week? I'll probably be blue, but I'll be here. Well, you're blue tonight. You'll be gold if you come back. <laughs> Fantastic. What sports? Kylie and Kim, hey, they can't say we didn't try to give them an even break there. But uh, as W.C. Fields once said, never give a sucker an even break. Are you saying they're suckers? Well, they're, they're crazy here. Crosswords, <laughs> That's they? right. That's what we're saying. I think it's time to say goodbye. It is. It is. So bye-bye to everyone in TV man. <laughs>